You say the name Sea-Doo, most people know what you're talking about. They picture a PWC, and that's good, but it's not entirely accurate. Sea-Doo has a lot of different models, from the very accessible Spark to this, the cream of the crop, top of the line, super comfortable, super fancy, and high performance GTX Limited IS260. In 1992, Sea-Doo totally changed the PWC game by introducing the first luxury model. And in 2015, the level they've taken it to is incredible. It has just about every technological advantage and optional feature that Sea-Doo has to offer. And it just looks downright cool. It has the left-hand throttle for the intelligent brake in reverse, and on the right, cruise control and buttons to set your driving mode from touring to sport to no weight. There's the intelligent suspension system that offers six inches of adjustable ride and tilt steering for premium comfort for a day of cruising. The easily adjusted tilt steering with gauges that move with it add to that. There's the plush two-level ergonomic touring seat and one of the coolest and most useful features I've ever seen on a PWC, the speed tie system, integrated mooring lines, no more awkward tie-ups or storage wasted on long lines. Even the storage itself is kicked up a luxurious notch. At the bow, a removable watertight storage container gives you option of storing wet or dry gear. The glove compartment has a watertight organizer, which is perfect for cell phones. And integrated into the swim platform, even more storage, an ideal spot for your vital safety gear. It has all the bells and whistles, but it's also very well designed. Everything is within fingers reach, not even arms reach, so you don't have to take your eyes off the water, unless of course you're doing a TV show. But when you put your eyes back on the water and hit the throttle and touring mode, the 260 horsepower Rotax engine accelerates quickly, but without throwing you off your seat. If you want that jackrabbit start, you can get it by switching to sport mode, but this feels great just as it is. It's a very smooth ride, and with smooth waters on the Florida Intercoastal on our test day, I figured now was the perfect chance to punch the throttle and see what I could do. I very quickly cracked 60 miles per hour. I topped out at around 63 miles per hour in a short burst, but I'm told it can reach 67. Full throttle isn't the norm though, and this is a luxury cruiser, so what does it cruise at? Well, at 6,000 RPM, it's a comfortable but zippy 42 miles per hour. And of course, if you need to slow down in a hurry, the game-changing IBR braking system will happily oblige. Brakes work. When you're riding, it's not always going to be smooth waters for open throttles. And what is really impressive, if you've never seen it in action, is the intelligent suspension system that's on this GTX Limited. We showed you at the beach how you can adjust it manually. Well, now let's take that into the busier section of the channel and see how it actually responds. And when you get into some kind of chop, you can really feel and see the suspension doing its work. Very comfortable, like that. The six inches of absorption are immediately noticeable. The entire upper deck, including the engine, handlebars and side deck footrests move so you're not pounded into the waves. It really is one of those seeing is believing moments, or in this case, riding is believing. At just over a thousand pounds, the GTX has the weight to cut through a lot of waves, but the suspension sure makes it a lot smoother. Even turning through chop is a more comfortable ride without sacrificing performance. And yes, I can hear a few of you yelling at your TV, come on, bull, give it more throttle, turn harder. Well, don't worry, I did that too, and this big, comfy cruiser does not disappoint. Sea-Doo created the bar of luxury PWC back in 1992, and in 2015, they have definitely raised it.